So today we're going to show you how to set the valves on the 604s and 602s with uh, hydraulic lifters, uh, the proper way to set those. So first thing you're going to want to do is warm up your engine, uh, get oil pressure to the engine, and uh, we'll take the valve covers off and show you how to set those valves. So the trick to the hydraulic lifters is to find where the push rod spins at uh, once you back those off. So we'll start with uh, number one valve. I'll roll this around. So my exhaust valve just starts to move and that tells me that I can set my intake valve. So I'll grab some wrenches and uh, we'll set that one real quick. So we'll back this off. Loosen the center locking nut and then we'll loosen this rocker until this push rod starts to move. That tells us that the tension is out of it and we can set it accordingly from there to get the preload right. So letting that wrench kind of rest against that nut as it falls down, the tension's out of the push rod there so that we can lock the center nut on the inside and put about a sixteenth, maybe an eighth of a turn on these. You can set your street stuff tighter, like a half to a quarter turn, but for the race stuff, uh, it seems like it runs better just off of zero. So that's pulled tight, it's locked in with the set screw. We feel this push rod, it's tight, the rocker's tight here. Uh, I like to go on to the next one in the firing order so I don't make mistakes. You can go across the engine if you like but uh, for me it's easier to go on now to number eight cylinder and I'll watch for the eight rocker to move now and I'll set it. Now we're on to eight intake, loosen that center nut, keep backing it off till the tension comes out of the push rod, it spins, find out where it just starts to touch, set our center lock and then pull those in together so they bind and tighten at the same time. That'll keep them from backing off and that thing's in service. So that one's good and tight. So now I would go on to number four. You can go on down through the firing order uh, doing those. Uh, so you're gonna set your intake valves when your exhaust just move. I'll go to the other side and I'll show you how to set the uh, exhaust valves also. So to set the exhaust valves on these, we're gonna go Number one intake is going to go all the way down and we're going to go till it comes almost all the way shut so it's pretty close. We're going to do the exact same thing we did to the intake but now on the exhaust. So we'll loosen this up, back it off till the push rod spins. Got tension in there, the push rod floats. Can't spin it anymore with my fingers, lock the center up. Pull them in together. They're good and tight. They won't back off. That'll stay put. We'll go on now to number eight. You can see the intake valve's about to come open. So with that valve open now, we'll go ahead and set that exhaust. And you'll just go on down the firing order. You can go across the engine. It keeps you from making mistakes uh, going by the firing order. So you can do that however works best for you. But uh, that's what I found to work the best for me. So once your valves are set, you shouldn't have to reset these valves again until you change springs. For the 602s, we recommend 10 to 12 nights, and for the 604s, we recommend 20 to 25 nights. Um, if you're running more than the 6200 on the 602s or 64 on the 604s, uh, that number may come sooner. So just keep that in mind also.